Hey guys, my name's Nicole. And I'm Alex. And we're members of the care team here at Sawgrass. And today we're going to show you how to troubleshoot for jam codes 14, 16, and 17. So Nicole, what do these jam codes mean? Yeah, so the jam codes typically mean that there's still a paper jam in the printer. So if you just had the paper jam happen, you may still have some paper debris in your printer that you need to remove, or there may be a carriage jam. Uh, and the carriage is just the um, print head that goes along your printer as the paper is being printed. There may be some paper there, or maybe a jam. And what's the first step to do this process? Yeah, so the first step that you're gonna to wanna to take is open up the top cover. Now for demonstration purposes, we've removed the top cover for our printer. Uh, but we don't recommend you doing that. Um, so just open up the top cover and then you're gonna to wanna to check your printer for any paper debris, any leftover paper, things like that. All right, and so after you've done that, if there's no leftover paper, the next thing you're going to want to check the paper feed belt. Now the paper feed belt is that shiny black part in the inside of your printer. You're going to want to check that there's no damage to the sides. Yeah, sides right there, you want to make sure there's no damage there. After you checked that there's no damage to your paper feed belt, you're going to want to check that the carriage guides haven't become dislodged or damaged. And those carriage guides are those little white pieces on the inside of your printer there. Um, and if they have been removed or have been damaged, please reach out to our care team because we would want to have a care member with you troubleshooting that. After you check these guides, if they haven't been removed, you want to then go and clean your paper feed belt. You're going to want to clean the feed rollers as well. We have a tutorial showing you how to do this. So Nicole, what do we need to get started? All you need is some denatured alcohol and some lint-free cloths. Now, if you don't have a lint-free cloth laying around, our wonderful influencer, Miss Lori Donovan, has said that you can even use a coffee filter. So that'll work as well. Yeah. So how do we do this? All right, so you're gonna get your denatured alcohol. Okay. And just to point it out, this is your paper feed belt. This little shiny part right here. Perfect. Okay. All right, so I got you your lint-free cloth. Thank you very much. And I'm just gonna take a little, you don't wanna, you know, douse it. Just, just a little. Yeah, and I'm just gonna, there we go. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go across with the cloth and clean all the surface. And now we need to roll the yeah. paper feed belt in order to get access to all of it, yeah? Yes. So in order to do that, we have to open these tabs here on the back, mm -hmm. let it down, and now those rollers right here is what yeah. we're gonna be pressing down on in order to hold the feed belt. So I'll go ahead and let you do that. Yeah. All right. So you're gonna have to press down on pretty hard, but you will see that it's rotating. It starts to rotate as soon as you push. There we go. Even there. You just wanna get the entire surface of the feed belt. Because um, there may be some debris on the part that you can't see. Just clean that off. There we go, and you keep on going. Perfect. Do it one more time, and there we go. And you know, if you need some more um, uh, denatured alcohol, go back and get some more. Feel free, you just don't want the feed belt to be wet. Afterwards. Yeah, you don't want it to be like super wet. All right, there we go. So now that is, that's all we need to do for that. Perfect. So after you've cleaned your rollers, you're gonna to want to clean the horizontal encoder. And that is that clear white piece behind the metal, that metal part in the inside of your printer. And we have a tutorial showing you how to do that as well. And just remember, be very gentle when you're printing, uh, cleaning this piece. For this next step, you're gonna need denatured alcohol and a lint-free cloth. You're gonna first clean the encoder strip. Now the encoder strip if you'll see here on our printer, we've taken off the top cover. We don't recommend doing this. We've just done this for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna lift up this little piece here so you all can see it. You think they can see it? So if you look behind this metal bar here, there is a clear strip. That is your horizontal encoder. And this is the piece that you're gonna to wanna to clean. So Alex, I'll let you go ahead and demonstrate how they clean that piece. Be very gentle, guys. Yeah, you just want to wipe across. There you go. And then we recommend letting that dry for a few minutes. 
And then lastly, what we recommend doing is cleaning the registration sensor. The registration sensor is on the inside of your printer. It's that piece right there, it's connected to that purple wire. Before cleaning this, go ahead and power your printer off. And all right, and once it's completely off, go ahead and remove the top cover from that sensor. Yeah, there you go. And if it takes a few times, just that's fine. And then gently, you wanna remove the sensor outside of that little place. There you go. And just gently do it. All right, so once it's removed, then we recommend you could take like a soft uh, bristle brush or like um, a lint-free cloth. If you see any paper debris there, just you know remove it. And once it's been cleaned, you don't see any more paper debris, go ahead and put it back in place. Then you'll want to put the top back on. Once you put the top back on the sensor, go ahead and close the printer cover. Um, power your printer back on again, and we recommend printing again. If you, the jam still occurs, please reach out to our care team at care.sawgrassinc.com. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.